श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्री वासारी श्री गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे निताय गौरंग निताय गौरंग निताय गौरंग भगवत भक्तिता सार्वम विचुत्सृजा विधेर कांकार्य कृष्ण पाद आश्रया शरणागति So Maharaj, are you ready to welcome everyone and offer some vandanam to our Sri Guru Varga and indicate where we're going? Very happy to do so. Very happy to do we're so. We're going in the right direction. Uh, well, <laughs> we're any direction in Navadip is probably the right direction. But today, yes, we've got. We do have some itinerary uh, following the traditional route that Shila Gurudev, Gurudev established, probably since 1948. That's when he first began the uh, Navadip Dam Parikramas on. I mean, for Guru Maharaj, his very first. Uh, time of Gauropanima because he joined in Nishinga Chatterdas in 1947. Mm. So from 1948, the programs have been taking place from Chaitanya Sarasat Mat. And on this day, then it's the day which is going to go over to Godrum Deep, the uh, very sweet island where Srila Bhaktivinoda Tako uh, came to, you, we may say retire, but came to spend the last part of his manifest pastimes here and Godrum Deep, and then uh, to other places uh, in Godrum Deep, and uh, Madhya Deep, and I believe Janu Deep. I'll just give you a double check on that. No, not Janu Deep today. Sorry, that's another day. So Hari Harakshetra, Suvana Biha, and Rishinga Poli, and then back to the temple of Sri Chaitanya Sarasat Math, and to Govinda Kund, where we can say, is, if you wish, Marj, a very suitable place to talk today about Madhavendra Puri's disappearance, because, of course, Govinda Kund in uh, Braja Mandal on the side beside Govardhan Hill is the place where Madhavendra Puri uh, was sitting and where uh, he had the dream, not just dream, but Krishna came to him, Gopal came to him and said that he was in a bush. Please take me out from the bush, establish my worship on the hill. So Govinda Kun very much uh, uh, associated with Madhavendra Puri's pastimes. So Maharaj, we are gathered together. And as we speak, I see the numbers going up, those who are joining us. And yesterday also 100 or so um, connections. And in some places, of course, several devotees are there. And many, of course, see this later posted on the different places but certainly on youtube they send us a link for youtube they send us a link for youtube in english and also in russian so that the russians without searching can immediately uh, click on the link and they've got the the russian uh, version so this is very good service to the world being done there from the Thailand Chiang Mai Gupta Govardhan Temple. So well done to the team. We must give credit to everybody. It is certainly a team, we know that, and bringing this together for the world. So, oh, look, here are the devotees in Chiang Mai. So to the devotees, we are in a way gathered in Chiang Mai, but actually even Chiang Mai, we're transporting ourselves all over to Nabadeep Dam. So first of all, to all the devotees, let us pay our obeisances. Vancha kalpa turubhyascha, kripa sindubhya evacha, patitanam pavanebhyo, vaishnavebhyo, namo namaha. So let us also start. We are in front of what is now the Guru Maharaj's samadhi and Srila Gurudev's samadhi. And from here, the uh, parikrama begins. So jai om vishnupar, Srila Bhakti Sunda, Govinda, Dev Goswami Maharaj ki, Jai, 
Jai Om Vishnu Parashikla Bhakti Roko Kridha Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Bhagavan Shila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur Ki Jai Jai Shila Gorki Shodas Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Shila Satchitnanda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Jai Jai Shri Rupanuga Guru Vaga Ki Jai And today we'll be visiting places relevant to Bhakti Vinod Thakur and to Gorki Shodas Babaji Maharaj on our uh, walk so from here, Gurudev, when he was present with us, he will be himself garlanding the devotees, starting the, the parikrama off. And even up to quite late on in his pastimes, he would accompany the devotees out of the gate with the Sankirtan going on. And he would go for maybe 100 meters, not so far, but he would start the parikrama and with the devotees chanting and everybody being issued their flags, some have got the, the banner, etc. And then earlier days, we would actually go to Nabadeep and cross on the boat that crosses over to Godrumadeep. Uh, however, as the years go by, more people accumulate. So it is a big strain on the, the boating, the limited number of boats that are there. And therefore, the more recent years, the devotees actually go by foot. So leave from the temple, cross Goranga Shetu, Goranga Shetu, the bridge which crosses the Ganges, built by the Russians, for any Russian listeners. <laughs> and it crosses the Ganges not far from our home. And then when, as soon as we get to the other side, just a little bit on, we turn left. And then from there, we're walking on the other side of the Ganges, and we're walking up to Godrumadip. And uh, there, I think we will come into Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur's uh, uh, Sananda Sukhada Kunj, the place of Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, where still his, um, many of his possessions, his chair, bed, and uh, desk, etc., are there in his room there. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur Samadhi is there. And Gorki Shodas Babaji Maharaj, his bhajan kutir is there in the compound, right beside a big, very beautiful banyan tree. So I think at this place we will come in, give our obeisances, and time to stop. In, in other words, rest our legs a little bit, and, and probably we'll pass the microphone over to Srila Goswami Maharaj for some harikata here. Yes. Yes. Um, so we're at Godruma Dweep. Godrum? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, a, as you say, or we have said that Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he did establish his, um, really, his Bhajan Kutir. Uh, what he's describing in Navadita Mahatmyam about um, Surabhi Kunj, right? Godrum, Surabhi Kunj, the, and as you told about Govinda Kunj, that we will come there in the end. But I told Indra, feeling that he had committed great aparad, right? And uh, imagine that, you know, he's trying to devastate Vrindavan with thunderbolts, flooding. So he's really feeling um, remorseful and just so fearful for, for what he's done. But we're talking, Krishna, it's part of Krishna Leela. He's grabbing the lotus feet of Krishna. Krishna's forgiving him and telling him, you know, Abhai, don't worry. You know, you're playing a role in my pastimes, but still Indra being the sincere devotee that he is, is uh, just worried about his future <laughs> and reveals that to Surabhi. And we're thinking this is after the divine waters of Govinda Kunda. And we may say something about that later, but we're just sort of at this stage where Indra's really worried about his future. And here's from Surabhi, this divine cow, like we, where are we here in Brahma Sangita? 
Chintamani, Prakara, Sadmasu, Kalpa, Vriksha. So Chintamani, everything's made out of Chintamani. Um, this transformative Chinmoy spiritual gem. Right? The soil is made out of chin, Chintamani, Prakara, and the, the abodes are made out of Chintamani. Kalpa vriksha, the whole, all the trees are kalpa vriksha, desire. And what are, remember, what are desires in that world? Service aspiration. They will give everything necessary. They will supply all the resources necessary for your seva. Right? When Guru Maharaj talks about Srimati Radharani being urjeshwari, unlimited resources for the service of Krishna. So if he crosses the line, then he has to have the collar and a leash. So he has to learn to just sit down and listen, as we do, as one does. <laughs> sit and listen. <laughs> one of the local aspiring servitors who we have to manage. You know. <clears throat> but Prabhupada told me once in a dream, he said, if you want to speak nicely, then first you must hear nicely. Hare Krishna. <laughs> All right. Everyone here wants to participate in that. Hare Krishna. Yat kin chit Guma ki kata mukam goste samastami tat. Raghunath Das Goswami says, respect even the lizards and the insects, the animals in the dam, they're mukunda doita, they're dear to mukunda. Why? Lilanukul, they're contributing in some way to the pastimes. So, Indra, worried about his future. Surabhi said, Oh, why well, is it Lakshmi is a husband of the way? Chintamani Prakara Sadmasu, Kalpa Viksha, Lakshavrate Shu, Sura B, Abhi Palayantam. That's where the um, Sura B counts. So Sura B representing Goloka, really, Godrum. Uh, she tells him, Don't worry, Krishna, he's going to appear in Navadvip, in the Kali Yuga, and flood the world with Krishna Prem, and you and I, we can go to that place now and in anticipation of the appearance of Sri Goranga. So Indra goes there happily, and that's where it's said. And they do, and then Mahaprabhu comes, and assures Indra, because Indra is saying, I'll just commit more offenses in your pastimes. <laughs> so, but he's really some indication, connection with Pratap, Purudra Maharaj, he gets the mercy from Mahaprabhu. You know, because he's king, king, Indra means king. But there it's mentioned that if you make a kutir in Godrum, Gor Charane, you achieve the lotus feet of Goranga Mahaprabhu. And there was one song that Srila Bhakti said unto Saraswati Thakur, like very much um, of Bhaktivinoda Thakur. And because Bhaktivinoda Thakur called his place there Swananda Sukhada Kunj. So this is a high song, not going to sing or do the whole, just quote a little bit, because this is also the song where he mentions that he doesn't like to even in his peripheral vision see those who are in connection with Chandravali, some particular person by name, one of her gopi friends who's uh, always saying things that are displeasing to Radharani's devotees. <laughs> and there's a, when Saraswati Thakur would hear this song and this line, like, I don't even want to see the face or hear the names of those in Saki Stali, where Das Goswami threw the leaf plate of buttermilk away. 
Right? When Saraswati Tagore would hear this line, Guru Maharaj said, his body would visibly jerk as though like his heart was struck by a thunderbolt. That is Sri Barsabhanabhi Devi Doita Das. Right? His, but this line, Amito Swananda Sukhada, Sukhada Bhashi. So he's saying, that's where I reside. Imagine, this is a song Bhaktivinoda Thakur is writing when he wakes up at three or midnight to, to sunrise. Right? And there's playing, he's writing songs like this. Many songs, Udila Aruna, that, you know, all the songs that we have. And one line I like from the song of Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he says, Yutai Vaishnavagan, Seistan Brindavan. For what are we doing? He's saying, wherever the Vaishnavas are, say that place is Vrindavan. So it's in, we're, look at so many Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis all over the world. And we're, somehow mystically, we're on the Navadip Dham Parikrama. We're in Godrum. Right? Jatai Vaishnavagan, say stan Vrindavan. That's where is Vrindavan, Navadip, Godrum, all the, where the, and the Vaishnavas, we mean, the Vaishnavas, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Srila Saraswati Thakur, Srila Prabhupada, Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Guru, the higher Vaishnavas. We don't take our, we're their aspiring servitors, right? But just think that, so Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he's writing a song like this. Radhika Madhava Charanadasi. Thing. He is a, a dasi of the, char, uh, of the lotus feet of Radhan Madhava. So that picture we have, Srila Gurudev, it was on his veranda in Kolkata. And one time he's looking, you know, Bhaktivinoda Thakur with the beard and with the japa. And uh, and Gurudev said, and to think, you know, he's a, there, Hare Krishna, that he's a 13 year old girl in Vrindavan. <laughs> so Guru Maharaj would say, if the Guru comes in another form, will you recognize him? He had his youthful form, his this form, that form. How will you recognize him? Or her, for that matter, before you? by some particular um, devotional eye. Right. So, um, just, just a few lines to just see. Saki stali, no, line number two. Duhara milane anandukori, duhara biyoge duke te mari. I rejoice when they are together, but if they are separated, I die in anguish. Saying, if they're separated, that kills me. Right. That's why the next line becomes significant. So remember, Saraswati Thakur has Judge of our Maharaj singing these songs to him every day in the last three months of his divine manifest pastimes in Srila Jagannath and Jagannath Puri, then transferred to Kolkata and Guru Maharaj. We know the history. But before this, Judge of our Maharaj, he's singing these songs every day at the uh, request of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. This song he says, Saki stali nahi heri nayane dekile saibyake pore mone. I never look at the area in Braja called Saki stali where Chandravali and her friends live. If I were to see that place, it reminds me of that um, sharp-tongued gopi friend named Saibya. <clears throat> Don't name a message to gurus. Do not name your disciple Saibya, Dasi. Don't do it. J J Pratikul Chandra Saki Prane Dukha Pai Tahare Deki. I feel pain in my heart when I have to catch the sight of Chandra, Chandravali's proud girlfriends, for they are all inimical to Radha's camp. Radhika kunja andhara kori, loite chahe se radhara hari. 
Chandravali wants to take away Radha's Lord Krishna, thus causing her it to become overcast with darkness and gloom. Sri Radha Govinda Milan Suk Pratikul Janana Heri Muk. I never look at the faces of those who wish to obstruct the joy of the union of Radha and Govinda. And then he says, Radha Pratikul Jateka Jan Sambhasane Kabu Nahoiman. Nor do I find any pleasure in conversing with those who are members of the camp opposed to Radha. <clears throat> These are profound statements, actually. Mm -hmm. Then, in conclusion, Bhakuti Vinoda Sri Radha Charane Sonpeche Parana Ativa Jatane. Bhakti Vinoda has entrusted his soul with great care unto the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. So, this is one of many songs Srila Bhakti Vinoda Thakur. He's benting his heart while there. Guru so, saying mainly his songs are the um, targeting the practitioners, songs like Amara, Jivana. You know, and uh, Guru Dev, Kripa Bindudi, all these songs that form the you know our daily practicing lives of Krishna consciousness. And Guru Maharaj said, but these are few of these other type songs from the Siddha plane, right? And uh, even that the song Nitai Chaitanya Boli Natsre Amaran called Siddhi Lalata, hankering for perfection. And he said, if I take Goranga Nam, then uh, you know, aparadha, dure, jave, pave, premodan, my offenses will go far away, and then I'll come in connection with Krishna praying. So there in that place, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, composing all of Guru Dham, Granta Dham, Gaura Dham, Dham, Nama Dham, Buddha, Bhakti Dham, Buddhi Dham, Bande, Bhakti Vinoda Dham, Sada. He's giving all the literature. That's where he had the vision of Mayapur. Hare Krishna. Uh, <clears throat> Would you like to add something to, to here or another place? Huh? All right, okay. So, Maharaj. Um, yes, ma'am. I'm just thinking, is there something? That, oh, I know one other thing I want to say. And I might say it later again, but it bears repeating. <laughs> because, and go druma kana nakunja vidram. That's what I meant. So, Bhakti Vinod Thakur wrote this 20 verse song that's very beautiful. And I just want to think like one line from it, the last one. Because when we were in St. Petersburg at Lakta, Srila Gurudev talked about what he called the private bhajan chamber of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. And what do you say in that? Gorgadadhar. Hare Krishna. Right? Which Guru Maharaj said is like double Madhura Rasa. Right? Radharani and Mahabharata, you know, Gorgadadhar. Right? Inconceivable. But Guru said that is the private bhajan chamber of Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Like, don't try to pursue this or be too inquisitive. Just bow to that and we will go to champa hati later but since we're in godrum and this line is there just these lines and where he's saying remember gorga dadhar and their sweet pastimes keli kalam uh the uh how do you say the thinking of them side by side the beauty of the two of them together hear about Gorga Dathar and the Charukata, the beautiful topics about them and between them. Remember, Gadadhar, as inconceivable in an Gadadhar Pandit is giving the Bhagwat Kata in Puri and Mahaprabhu there, sometimes the others. But Guru Maharaj wrote this beautiful verse and I may have mentioned when I I because he would say when Achyutananda Swami asked uh, Guru Maharaj, 
what were his talks between him and Swami Maharaj Prabhupada? Because all in Bengali couldn't understand everything. And Swami Maharaj Prabhupada said, if I told you, you would faint. He has very deep realizations of Krishna. You know? But with Prabhupada Swami Maharaj, he's sharing them. So he said that, you will faint. You know? So I heard this. So this one afternoon, there's Srila Guru Maharaj, the plantation chair, Srila Guru Dev at his side, and I'm there, and, and, and I said, what, what, are the, what, what is that that would make you faint? And Srila Govinda Maharaj started laughing, that laugh he had. <laughs> and Guru Maharaj is going like, what? what? He doesn't understand what's going on. And then Srila Govinda Maharaj says, the Guru Maharaj, he said, go Swami Maharaj once, you to make him faint. <laughs> and Guru Maharaj, oh. <laughs> and then they start talking, like, what will make me faint? You could say, no, no but then, you know, and they're going back. Then Guru Maharaj, oh. And then this verse that when, like Bhakti Vinod Thakur, we know here, Srup Damodar appears to him. Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Guru Maharaj saying something, going for a walk in the sky, taking Krishna Nam, meaning in the subtle plane, comes upon the Mahajans, they're having a Gita class, as one does. You know, and they think, oh, Apichet, how do we understand this verse? Oh, here's an Ananya Bhak Bhakta, an unalloyed pure devotee, let's ask him to explain. That's Bhaktivinoda Tagore. Srup da, he's when he's meditating on the Bhagavatam, Srup Damodar comes to him and tells him to collect a thousand slokas from that 18,000 raid son Bhagwa, Srimad Bhagavatam. Things like this. So uh, <clears throat> why did I say that? Because Oh, so Srila Guru Maharaj, then he got the inspiration, not a thousand, but like 300 or so slokas that he would collect. But then Guru Maharaj is saying, like, is lava. <laughs> My Guru Maharaj remarked, is lava. You know, he said, so he didn't do it, but he did start writing the uh, Pratama, the introductory slokas. One to Veda Vyas and, the, and some other, but one to Gadadhar Pandit. And I believe it is this sloki wrote about Gadadhar Pandit that gives you a hint about the quality of selection that, that's going to be there. Right? Because, so anyway, this is the verse he selected for fainting. Nilam bodhi tate sadas viraha ke pan vitam bandabam Srimad Bhagavati kata madhiraya sanjivayan bhatiya Srimad Bhagavatam svanayana supayanai pujayam Goshami prabharo garadhura vibhur bhuyat maneka gati He's saying, let this collection be an offering to that best of the Goswamis. Gadadhar Pandit, Goshami Prabhu Gadadhar. And why? He said, because on the shore of that broad blue ocean, Nilachala and, and Jagannath Puri, its other name, and Nilam Bodhi today, on the banks of that broad blue ocean, there's Krishna, as Gauranga Mahaprabhu, he's saying, Kepanvitam Svabiraha Kepanvitam feeling separation from himself. How is that possible? Radha Bhava Bolita, enveloped in the heart and halo of Radharani, the supreme positive Krishna, enveloped in the supreme negative, is feeling separation from himself. So, um, um, and the, the 10th stage of separation is death. So approaching the 10th stage, that death-like 
condition. Like he says in the psalm, if they're separated, it's killing me. Um, Gadadhar Pandit uh, is bringing him back to life. And Guru Maharaj compared it because it says Madiraya, that means wine or intoxicant. So he's saying when there's a friend who's broken hearted in separation from their beloved, their best friend comes and offers them some intoxication to assuage the anguish of their heart. But what is the intoxication? Slokas from the Bhagavatam. That's what Gadadhar Pandit is. Because only Gadadhar Pandit, Radharani, and Srup Damodar can supply this. But here, who better than Gadadhar Pandit saying, oh, now Krishna is enveloped in Radharani's heart and saying, when this stage of separation comes, then this sloka will give some relief. Or this sloka will augment those particular feelings. And as Gadadhar Pandit is supplying these slokas as intoxicants to the separation anguished heart of Mahaprabhu, so tears are pouring out, seeing the effects of her own heart upon Sri Goranga. Tears are streaming from the eyes of Gadadhar Pandit. But Guru Maharaj said, they're streaming down the face of Gadadhar Pandit and falling onto the pages like lotus tears, offerings to the pages of the Bhagavatam, and they're washing away those slokas, the letters. So, uh, as though they are offerings, the tears are offerings. Uh, so, the private bhajan chamber of Bhaktivinoda Thakur, and just this one line from the song of Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he goes, Smara Gaura Gadadhara Keli Kalambhava Gaura Gadadhara Pakshachara Srinu Gaura Gadadhara Charu Katambhaja Godruma kanana kunja vidum. The next place. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Well, Maharaj, as we go to the next place, I think we need a, at least two Maha mantras, Maharaj, because <laughs> as we were describing on the Kartik Parikrama and other Parikramas, when we are doing Navadipdam Parikrama, Really, every step, it is accompanied by kirtan. And I see you've got a good kirtan gathering in the Chiang Mai temple.
Thy gold payment and Hari Hari Bol. And by the way, all of that first part when we went across the bridge and uh, walking the other side uh, to uh, Godrum Deep to Bhaktivinoda you know, Thakur's home, that is all with kirtan and chanting. Mm -hmm. So now our chanting has taken us from uh, Bhaktivinoda you know, Thakur's Bhajan Kutir and what is now his Samadhi and has taken us along. And we've come to Hari Hara Kshetra. And here they usually have a bit of a late breakfast at Hari Hara Kshetra. And this is a, some a brief discussion sometimes about the churning of the ocean. Uh, to, uh, they, they're trying to bring out uh, nectar and Mohini Murti's advent to keep the nectar protected. And maybe Parmananda Prabhu would like to say something, but usually it's a quite a brief stop here. And the deity is told why Hari Hara, that the deity is half Shiva and half uh, uh, Vishnu, half Krishna. So it is quite ununderstandable to me, Maharaj, but we give our obeisances here and have lunch at Hari Hara Kshetra. Both are inconceivable. The Shiva Tattva, the Vishnu Tattva, how can it be explained? One way, Advaita Acharya. Uh -huh. But that's because he is sometimes described as Mahavishnu and other times as Sadashiva. So some, uh, anyway, but please continue. <laughs> Actually, Maharaj's remembrance of Sri Godruma Chandra Bhajana Upadesh by yeah, Bhaktivinoda Thakur. There's another verse in there. Yeah. And it says, Jada Kavya Rasa Nahi Kavya Rasa Kali Pavana Gora Rasa Hirasa Alam Anya Katha Anushilanaya Bhaja Godruma Kanana Kunja Vidhum. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, where is, the, where, where is the taste in a mundane poetry on any mundane subject? What is the point of discussion? That the, the supreme taste can only be found in the glorious description of the glories of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his name, in his pastimes. So he's saying, give up all that nonsense studies, give up all the nonsense conversations and just worship the golden moon of the Godramas Bowers. And this is what Shiva is telling in that place. And the place is known as Mahavaranasya or, or Kashi, Mahakashi. So what Shiva does there? He is dancing and chanting the holy names of Gauranga. And this is his only engagement. And he is telling everybody, he is saying, in Kashi, in Varanasi, you're studying for thousands of years Vedanta. You're trying to acquire some knowledge and you may be going to get a liberation after 10,000 years. 10, 000 of years. But if you come here and you chant the names of Gauranga, you get that in a second, in a split of a second, plus infinitely more. So this is what he does. And it is also said, if you are fortunate enough to die in that particular place, uh -huh. the Shiva himself, he will come and he will chant the name of Gauranga to your ears. So you can only imagine where you're going to end up <laughs> after that. So it is a very special place. Hari Har Kshetra. And I think the next place is the Suvarna Bihar, Maharaj, but it's one of those places. Yes. So if you want to say something, Maharaj, please. Oh, me? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure because we have the Maharaj here. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I can say, yes, I can say happily. First of all, the, the devotees do take a late and like strong breakfast at Hari Kshetra in that open area outside. And that keeps them going for the next section, which is to come with more Harinam Sankirtan, but quite short, to um, Subhana Biha. And here in the Nabadeep Dham Mahapnir, then we have the description about how Narada Muni is coming to King uh, Suvana, Suvana Sain, King Suvana Sain, and who is like working very hard and just accumulating money and power and all these things. And then by chance, Narada Muni, I mean, chance is chance, but Narada Muni came by 
And Narada Muni sees the king and then he starts discussing with the king about the uselessness of just gaining wealth and gaining prestige and power, etc. And of course, the, uh, the king's good fortune was that he was a ruler in this area. And so unknown to him, then this was the special dam of Nabadeep Dam. And when we are reading recently here, or still reading here, the Nabadeep Dam Mahatmya, then also feeling like everything is given in the Nabadeep Dam Mahatmya in this book, because in Narada Muni's instruction and discussion with the king, he's explaining like very clearly and very sweetly about what is this world and then the different uh, uh, stages of getting liberation from the world and then the upper plane, then giving some higher ideas to the king. And then finally, after so much like talking with the king and he's saying, and here where you are, the Lord himself is going to come in a very special golden form. And so you wait and you see, and you will come to understand that he will appear here and you stay here and you now you engage in bhajan instead of engaging in the, the kingdom duties. And in your next life, I believe he told you will take the birth as Buddhimanta Khan and you'll participate in the Lord's pastimes or in future you will take the birth as Buddhimanta Khan and engage in the Lord's pastimes here in Nabadeep. So in the Nabadeep Dharma Hapnir, we get all kinds of, I mean, all the philosophy, all the teaching, as well as the experiences of, from Lord Brahma and so many. Uh, Markandeya Rishi also in the last place of Godramadeep, how he takes shelter there of Surabhi. Uh, at the time of, uh, he was cursed to, to live for seven, annihilations and recreations, annihilations and recreations, and the only place it doesn't become flooded is Navadeep Dam. So there are many discourses about the experiences of the great devotees. And there are, in all of these discourses, uh, giving us like the, the full understanding of what is Krishna consciousness and Mahaprabhu consciousness, what the gift of Mahaprabhu. So King Suvana saying here, then he received this mercy of Narada Muni and received the, this benediction. But as in all these cases that took place before Mahaprabhu's appearance, they're all told, keep it quiet. Don't tell everybody. This is private for you. And so this way, King Su Suvana saying he continued his life as a devotee, uh, disinterested in the world because he got that uh, grace from Narada Muni. So very wonderful uh, and extensive description given in the Navadip Dhamma Mahatmya here. And a very sweet place when we come here, then we hear this reading of the uh, Navadip Dhamma Mahatmya and a reminder for us all where we live and why we should treasure Navadip Dham. Bhaktivinoda describes as the topmost of all holy places, Nabadeep Dham. And then Marsh from here. Oh, Marsh, would you like to say something here? No, next place. Okay, so then Marsh, we're going on to Nishinga Poli. Uh -huh. And if you wish, we can have two Maha Mantras. This is a very nice walk through a path an unpaved path going through the rice fields. And so this is one of these places <laughs> where you can see like a, or practically a kilometer long of devotees yeah. coming to uh, Nishinga Poli. So a little chanting, I think is appropriate, Marsh. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna
So now we've come to Narasimha Polly or hey. Deva Polly Maharaj, and I really think here we should pass the microphone to Your Holiness Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <clears throat> We were telling before Bhaktivinoda Thakur and his swan on the Sukhada Kunj and Godrum, he's singing these divine songs, writing his divine books, and also taking the divine name of Krishna. And you see the, on a stone bench on his front porch, you know, and he's sitting there and, and taking Krishna Nam, and we're told around approximately 4, 4.15 in the morning every day, he feels this breeze coming from a, uh, the, the uh, direction of Devapoli, is one name of this place. And it's coming past him and going in the direction of the Yogpit in Mayapur. The reason it is called Devapoli is because after Nishingadev killed Hiranyakashipu, he's going back to his own abode, surrounded by all these devatas glorifying him. And he comes over this part of Nadia, of Navadeep, and he's singing, Oh, Goranga Mahaprabhu appears here. And he wants to um, enter into the, that mood of appreciation of Gorang, Gora Avatar. Right? As we hear in the song, Avatar Sar, Gora Avatar. Just like Krishna. Krishna's to Bhagavan Sayam. He's Avatar, the source of all the avatars. So is Goranga. Right? So Nisringadev lights there and on these hills, there are so many surrounding hills, on each hill is a devata, and they're offering prayers to Nisringadev, but also to Goranga Mahaprabhu. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he comes to understand that that breeze that keeps coming every morning around the time of the Mangal Arati and the Yogpita is Nisringadev going from Devapoli, or what now Nisringapoli, to attend the Mangal Arati of Goranga Mahaprabhu. So imagine, the avatars want to have a glimpse of Gora Hari. Right? And by the grace of Nisringadev, so he goes to his own abode, but we're told, and there's a kunda there, the pond, and some Brahmin, Satyuga Brahmin, he goes there and bathes every morning, he does his mantra, Gayatri, and one day he discovers this shield, shield murti out of black stone, like shellogram like stone. There, Hare Krishna. Yeah, hold that picture for the one. He discovers this in the kunda. Right? And this is, if you look closely, you see, it's Nasringadev ripping apart Hiranyakashipu. And one time when we went there, uh, you know, this is the way they do things in India. You know, at this time of the year during the parikrama, there's parikramis coming nonstop. So you have like the family members, the elders, and at some point, just like they do with the shops, they'll put a nine-year-old kid at the shop and he'll be there. What do you want? You know, so... Where there, there's like a nine year old kid in charge of, you know, the darshan of the deity. And all these parikramis, the, those on the, they're pushing, and I'm getting pushed by these people uncontrollably. And I got pushed so far that my head went to the lotus feet of the deity. And I could see, and I'd never seen this before, having been that close. And you see, Prahlad Maharaj is beneath the lotus feet of Nisringadev doing like a, a Panchanga Dandabhat with his hands folded like this. Panchanda, pan, you know, five beneath the feet of Nisringadev. And when you look at the deity of Nisringadev, 
how old is this deity? Like which Satya Yuga was it? How long does it take for stone to wear away? Hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of years. So all some parts are not visible to objectively speaking, but for those who have the eyes to see, <laughs> they're seeing uh, Nisringadev, the protector of all the devotees. And just one thing I want to say, so, and every year, Chaitanya Saraswat Mat, Madhusudan Maharaj knows this better than I, they make a giant vat of paramanna, and it's put in a van and taken over and offered in a string of day, then it's brought back. So everyone takes the paramana from the string of day, the sweet rice. But sometimes during the year, and the, not during the parikrama time, some devotees are visiting there. And then they're coming back to the mat, and then maybe they acquired some prasad there or something, and they they want to give to Srila Gurudev, Srila Govinda Maharaj, who, for the record, it should be noted, he said, do not try to purify your guru. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. What is that royal road paved with? Oh, the best intention. So with the best intentions, these, they think, oh, we've just been in this ring of Gurudev, you know. And this one time, Gurudev, he looks over at me and he, he said, <laughs> he said, Maharaj, he said, um, He said, we are afraid. He said, we're taking, we're afraid of Nishingade. He said, Guru Maharaj, he's not taking. If someone does something like this, he's not taking. He said, Nishingadev is afraid of Guru Maharaj. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Om Vishnu Pachala Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj, Ki Rai. And what does he mean? That Nisringadev will be happy to hear that. He will laugh to hear that. He'll be very happy. Gurudev can make Nisringadev laugh. Because it means the, the power of that sort of devotion. That's what he means to say. That exclusive, like Sri Barshabhanabi Devi Dayita. This exclusive devotion to the lotus feet of Sri Mati Radharani will be celebrated. But Gurudev, that's an original statement from him in this context. <clears throat> Anything else to add? Maharaj, that sounds very complete. That uh, kund which is nearby, then we see the devotees go down there and worship that. It is told that's when Nishingadev washed his hands or his paws, whatever they may be, his hands, I guess, claws, after ripping apart Hiranyakashipu. Right? That his, uh, uh, and what does it say? Tabakara Kamala Barena Kam Adbuta Sringam. It's very interesting. His palms, they look like lotus flowers, but with nails on the petals. Like that. Wonderful. And then Marsh from there, it is quite a long Hare Krishna Maha Mantra Sankirtan back to the temple. And unfortunately, most of the present day Parikramis jump on a bus because nowadays there is a road. Don't say strike that off the record. <laughs> okay, strike that off the record. Okay. And I can say in my life, the mo one of the they most that bus the and most say we will not take a bus. <laughs> they kick that bus and turn it over and throw it on the side of the road. Hare Only Hare. walk in procession with Krishna Nam back to the mosque. Yes. Hare. Okay. 
<laughs> and that year that they were going to complete the bridge, but it was not yet a bridge. They just made the road, Maharaj, and they put they put down the pebbles on the top of the road. Uh -huh. And all the devotees, there was no bus at that time, and all the devotees had to walk along what was before a dirt road, which is quite comfortable. Yeah. Instead, they had to walk along this pebble road and very painful, some extra trick of Krishna for our parikrama. Yes, but we see the Bengali Ma, the Be ladies of Bengal, they yes. can walk on those pebbles, they can walk on hot coals, they can walk on broken glass, nothing <laughs> stops them. Yeah, uh, and they can walk in front of us with their pointed elbows. Right, they're and with very the elbow the two. They lock arms with each other, and then they elbow everybody else out of the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These little women—they're like four feet tall, <laughs> but they're in so much. We worship so that. much. We wish we had Indeed. that. Indeed. So much. Let us return to the temple with two or three maha mantras from the devotees there, and we'll come to Govinda Kund and to Giriraj and circumambulate the Kund and come and sit beneath the tree which is there in the corner, with the sitting place underneath, and there we can march hear about the glories of um, Madhavendra Puri, whose disappearance it is today. Hurry. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gana Sara Shiva Sari Gura Bhakta Vita Shri Advaita Gana Shiva Sari Gura Bhakta Vita Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare At Govinda Kunda, at Sri Chaitanya Sarasvant Mat. We are indeed, Maharaj, sitting in that sitting place under the shade of the tree in this near right hand corner, if you recall, Maharaj. And see, Srila Guru Maharaj, his deities, Jai Saparikar, Sri Sri Guru Gauranga, Gandharva, Govinda Sundar, his deities. Then his sannyasi, uh, Acharya of Sri Chaitanya Sarasant Mat. So, Deity Govinda Sundar, his, what is he named, Guru? Sundar Govinda. Bhakti Sundar Govinda, Deity Govinda Sundar. And what is across the street? Sri Govinda Kunda. And Guru Dev told actually that uh, there, that's one quarter of a total plot. In other words, there's another quarter, another quarter, another quarter. And the person who owned that, the son of this family, he was known to be Pagal, which is Bengali for crazy. So uh, he could be given less price for this, let's say. And uh, Guru Maharaj said, don't do that. Pay what should be the actual price. Right. So it was 2,500 rupees. 
<laughs> and it was there, it was Guru Maharaj's desire that Gore and Nityananda would have water sports in Govinda Kunda. Uh, but it was not realized. And, um, and in time, we know that Sri Guru Gauranga Gandharva Govinda Sundarju, that after the departure of Srila Guru Maharaj, a Mahaprabhu deity commissioned by Guru Dev was being kept there on the side of the altar. And Nitai Chaitanya, by this, they'd made their way to Puri, right? And Gurudev said that the Goranga of Guru Goranga Gandharva Govinda Sundar, this other Mahaprabhu, he has some extraordinary um, appearance and presence. And, and that Mahaprabhu indicated that this Mahaprabhu, he should have his own place. <laughs> So then Gurudev took that and he put him in Guru Maharaj's Samadhi. And even doing that, there was precedent. Anything Srila Govinda Maharaj ever did, if someone thinks like, well, how did he do that? Or is that, can you do that? Is there, a, there was precedent for even this very uh, deliberate act of his to put the deity of Mahaprabhu there with Srila Guru Maharaj in the Samadhi. So then that, but still this sporting in Govinda Kunda was not realized. And then Srila Bhakti Nirmala Charja Maharaj, ever eager to please the lotus feet of Srila Gurudev. He uh, focused on that seva and we know and many others, they required the Govinda Kunda be drained. What do you call it? Dredged is the word, I think. And so that they could put the piles in for the foundation. And they were unable to do it, no matter what they tried. Jagadananda Prabhu was out there with all of his experience, head to toe, and mud, and many others. And everyone was using their intelligence to try and figure out how to do this. So, so many suggestions are coming, right? But Srila Gurudev, in his heart, he's getting some inspiration. And Madhusudan Maharaj mentioned before about the churning of the milk ocean, and which we should point out is the, uh, that's the principal pastime of Southeast Asia. It's at Angkor Wat, it's at Suvarna Boom International Airport. It's the pastime of the, the part of the world we're in at present. And not accident, you know, by accident, uh, but, and, and so Srila Gurudev, he said, thinking like they, they were having the same problem to try and churn the milk ocean. Uh, they needed a foundation, right? This was unsuccessful, the devatas and the asuras. So the Kurma avatar appeared and they put the Mandara hill on the back of the Kurma avatar on the plea of having an itch, you know, as although he's omnipotent as a tortoise, he could not read, you know, scratch his own back, so to speak. Therefore, like Rishikena, Rishikesha, Sevanam, we get to serve. <laughs> Krishna's so kind. He's like, oh, I have this itch. So they put the Mandara hill on his back, wrap Basuki serpent around there, and start churning, like the way one churns butter. And that then Lakshmi Devi comes out, the moon, Surabi, the Uchayas Rava, Indra's elephant, Ayravata, many things, and ultimately the ultimate nectarine substance, which we can say more about 
later if we get the opportunity to. But it's mentioned in the beginning of the Srimad Bhagavatam, Madhura Rasa, right? Nigama Kalpatur, Galitam Palam, Shuka Mukadam, Ritu Java Sangam, P. Bhatta Bhagavatam Rasa Malayam, Muhuraho Rasika Bhubi Bhavaka. This is the subject matter of Srimad Bhagavatam. It's only ostensibly that they're interested in Amrita immortality. Guru Maharaj said, the ultimate nectarine substance is Madhura Rasa, and that's why that pastime is there. But anyway, so Guru Dev said, if you will chant this mantra, Prishte Brahmyata Manda Mandara Giri Grabhagya Kandu, you know, uh, and glorification of Kurma Dev, then you'll have success. So he said, they offer Paramana to Lakshmi Baraha, uh, to Bar Bar Baraha Dev, Lakshmi Baraha, the Shalagram Shila on the altar, but using the Kurma mantra, and then that day they're able to uh, successfully make a foundation. There you go. Hare Krishna. And Sri Govinda Kunda. And then ultimately Mahaprabhu, Gurudev take Mahaprabhu for uh, Jal Kali water sports there. And afterwards, when we took him back to the Samadhi of Guru Maharaj, I was, had the good fortune to be next to Srila Guru Dev. He spoke to Guru Maharaj uh, uh, in a, uh, like he was speaking to him directly in, in person. And he said, you know, your divine grace's uh, wish, that what you always want, has been fulfilled. Yeah. Hare Krishna. So that play, uh, if if Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat, and we'll hear about this thing, you know, Kola Dweep, it's like Gupta Vrindavan, then this part of Navadweep is Gupta Govardhan. So if it is Gupta Govardhan, then there must be Govinda Kunda. And, and actually, uh, Radha Kunda as well. Uh, but that's something else. Uh, Saraswati Thakur, uh, that will be, is dealt with separately. But let's stay focused on Govinda Kunda. Uh, and as we heard earlier in Godrumadweep, that when Indra, feeling he had committed these aparad um, for um, stopping uh, for Krishna stopped the Indra Yagya and Indra and inundated Vrindavan and that's when Krishna became you know Giridhari he lifted the Govardhan with his left hand for seven days and then finally Indra realizing uh, the divinity of Krishna and the aparad that he had committed, he came and with Surabhi at his side and they, um, he begged forgiveness from Krishna and they had an Abhishek where um, Surabhi's milk was washing, uh, bathing Krishna and Indra's elephant, Airavata, was doing the Songkran. Right, celestial water. <laughs> so, and that made Govinda Kunda, the milk and the milk from Surabhi and the water from the Charanamritam. Okay. And in the line, Deve Varshati Yagya Biplaba Rusha Bradrasma Barshani, like Siddhat Palu Bhajatma Saranam Kampayam Utmayam Utpatyeka Karena Shailam Avalo Lilo Lilo Chilindram Dita. Vibrat Gostam upon Mahindram, that means Indra, Maha, Maha Indra, Mahindram Maribit, Priyan Indra Gavan. So Indra, the king of heaven, has this realization. <laughs> he says, I'm the Indra of Swargala of heaven, but you are the Indra of the cows. You're the Gava Indra. Gava means cows. Now you take Gava and Indra and push them together, Sunday. What do you get? Govinda. They're saying, you are Govinda. 
And everyone, yes. Of course, he's Anadir Adir Govinda. He's always Govinda, but there's some play so he can be Govinda. So Madhavendra Puri, he uh, travels from place to place, uh, intoxicated with Krishna Prem, only taking Krishna Nam, meditating on the pastimes of the Lord. So if someone offers him something to eat, he'll take it, otherwise not. But he's not hungry or thirsty. He's drinking, you know, Krishna Prem. He's always drinking nectarine substance, have very little necessity of anything from this world. Like the Goswamis, they keep you know, their body alive, functioning. And so he comes to Govardhan, we're told Madhusudan Maharaj mentioned before, he, uh, that the a cowherd boy comes and sees like, oh, Puri, you're, the, some ladies nearby, they saw you're here. Uh, they sent me with some milk for you. He's like, oh, okay. And he said, and when you finish, give me the, you know, container I'll take back to them. Like, oh. <laughs> but he realized that night he has a dream and realizes that that, that boy was Krishna. And he's saying, oh, <laughs> if you can lament that, like he's lament, but it's a, what do you say, a, a paradox. <laughs> the lamentation is a beautiful paradox. But then Gopal appears to him and says, actually, I'm hidden in this bush, Kunja, and for so long, they, because of fear of the others, they put me in the Kunja, please take me out. He goes next day with all the simple-hearted souls from Govardhan. They go in, they find Gopal. He's very heavy. They carry him, put him on Govardhan Hill, build a little temple. They install him, clean his body, and start the Anakut ceremony where they're offering mounds of prasadam, large mounds of prasadam. Every day they're having a feast. Then they spread it to each village, every town they're doing like that. Like one village, it'll be their day. They do all the cooking, the puja, the seva, everything. This goes on for like two years. Interestingly, as much prasadam is being offered, the bog and the prasad, Madhavendra Puri, we're told, just at the end of the day, he has some milk. But... So, but Gopal appears to him again in a dream after two years of, and saying, this is really wonderful, but I don't know why. Still, my body is hot after all of this, still feeling feverish. So I want you to go get like the best sandalwood pulp and camphor and it's in Puri. <laughs> and so Madhavendra Puri happily accepts this seva. In the song of the Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he is saying, whatever so-called burden accompanies seva, he said, that is my joy. Like there's this English expression, and I'm sure it's probably universal in different languages, so-called labor of love. The labor of love is Krishna Bhakti, it's devotion. That's what the labor of love is. So whatever labor, he's, he's a premic devotee. Happy, he's so happy to get this seva from Gopal, even though he's very old. And this is in the days of walking. Talk about walking over the pebbles. How about walking, you know, like 1,500 kilometers or whatever it is, right? Uh, and he happily does that, and we're, he arrives in Remuna, and that's where the deity of Gopinath is, then just known as Gopinath. 
Even Krishna's name can expand, extend, get new names. Right? So, and there, many places, there, there'll be a special suite that's just made for that deity just in that place. It's almost like a tradition, and there, there's some prasad that's associated with a particular deity. And you can only get that there, and only they know how to make it. It's a beautiful thing. And they make this Amrita Keli, this nectarine, uh, cooked down milk, kheer. And Madhavendra Puri, he's thinking, this is so nice. I wonder how they do that. I, if I find out, then we can offer it to Gopal and uh, Govardhan. So he's always thinking of ways to expand the service. But because he is a pure devotee, he's suspicious of his own motives. And then he's, when he thinks about it more deeply, uh, he's thinking, oh, in the name of Gopal, like I want, really, I want to enjoy this. But I'm telling everyone, oh, it's for my deity and Govardhan, I'd like to know. I'm such a man, so shameless. And he's very, he's disgusted with himself. Madhavendra Puri, who chants Krishna Nam all the time, who's deeply immersed in Krishna Prem, he's disgusted with himself. What, what should less, how should lesser devotees feel from time to time? Right. So that evening he's taking Krishna Nam and Gopinath appears to the Pujari and tells him they, off, they normally offer 12 pots of kheer just, and he's saying I stole one and hid it under my dhoti. <laughs> the honesty of Krishna. I don't know why people think otherwise. <clears throat> so Krishna admits what he's done. And he's saying, why? Because my great devotee is here. I want him to have this. Krishna, now Krishna, the devotee is thinking, I'm such a shameless person. <laughs> like, no. You're the, it's meant for you. So Krishna steals it. And then the Pujari bathes, you know, gets himself fit to like enter. And then he lifts the cloth. Oh, there's as in the dream. And then he starts searching for a sannyasi named Madhava Puri. Madhava Puri, Madhava Puri. And are you that Madhava Puri? Yes. Oh, you're so fortunate. Gopinath stole cure for you. <laughs> so he became known as Kir Ch Chor means thief. Kir Chor Gopinath. Who worships God with names like this? Not in Vaikuntha, even. What to speak of this world? Forget this world. It doesn't even come close. It's not in the Vaikuntha. There are no names like that for Vishnu. <laughs> that would be an insult but not for Krishna because he's the sweet absolute. Everything is good. Stealing is good. Yes. <laughs> Prabhupada once said that um, Makanshwar, Krishna stealing butter. He said, so Krishna is sowing up butter. It is so important that if we cannot afford to buy it, we can steal it. Krishna is showing. <laughs> So Madhavendra Puri is taking that tear and then the clay pot and he's, he's so fortunate. And then he realizes, oh no, like by the time the sun rises, the word is going to be out and everyone is going to be coming to take dust from my, and we're like, pratishta, self-assertion, self-establishment, name, fame is the enemy of devotion. It's funny, the, the aspiring and the lower section want 
pratista, to be known for some devotional. The actual devotees are running from pratista, uh, but they cannot escape. But so he leaves, and we're told that clay pot, he cleans, you know, I mean, he's cleaning it by honoring. Then he breaks it, keeps it in his cloth. And every day, this is his, you know, like, tadiyanam samarjanam. What is in connection with Krishna and the other Krishna, even more worshipful. He takes a little piece of that pot every day, the clay pot. He's relishing that. And goes to Puri, tells them about Gopal's dream, the dream vision of Gopal. They're very happy to offer all that sandalwood, Paul, the camphor. And it's, you know, it's around like, I forget, something like 30 kilos. Imagine, 30 kilos. And he's elderly walking, carrying this, uh, have to have like papers, it's India, <laughs> you know, all the, what is it, the chop, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, but somehow everyone, they're attracted by his devotional radiance and um, he makes it through, on his way back to Raymuna, stop off to begin the major journey back to Govardhan. Gopal appears again in the dream and says, actually, Gopinath and me, same, same, but different. Achintya, we're the same. If you give offer all this uh, sandalwood pulp and the comfort of Gopinath, I'll, my divine form will also be cooled. And so what we're told is the word pariksha, pariksha is used, which means Hare Krishna, there's Kiritori Gopinath. Pariksha means test or examination. Krishna, he's testing the devotee. Where else do we have the Bible? Tatenu kampam susamikshamano. In the background is Krishna. Right. So, of course, Madhavendra Puri is passing this test in flying colors. And Gopal, he does not want to inconvenience Madhavendra Puri in any way. But... So, he tells them, you do this. And then the servitors of Gopinath, they're very happy to hear that. So they're rubbing the sandalwood every day and offering to Gopinath all over and then the camphor and rubbing and rubbing. Every day they're doing that. And this, this story, you know, one of the, Madhavendra Puri is the, uh, the Prem Ankur, like the seed of Krishna Prem, of the Bhakti Lata Kalpaturu, the desire tree of pure devotion. So he comes, who is his servitor? Ishwara Puri, who, for all intents and purposes, the guru of Mahaprabhu, Achyutananda, the son of Advaita, will forgive us for saying that. Uh, so, Madhavendra Puri to Ishwara Puri. Who are Madhavendra Puri's disciples? Ishwara Puri, Nityananda Prabhu, Advaita Acharya, Parmananda Puri, Ranga Puri. Who else? Oh, Pundarik Vidyanidhi. <laughs> they are his disciples. So, from Madhavendra Puri, to, and his guru by Kinnat Lakshmi Pati of Madhva line, what is going to be expressed by Madhava Puri, Madhavendra Puri, cannot be expressed in Madhva Sampradaya. Madhva Sampradaya can go as far as Vatsalya Rasa and stop there. So Madhavendra Puri is the bridge from Brahma, Madhva, to the Gaudiya Sampradaya. 
and this prem ankur, the seed of this type of Krishna prem, comes from Madhavendra Puri. But so he's being examined and tested. And what is it? Why is the devotion pure? Whatever he's being told to do, the so called inconvenience, the burden, the, the happily being accepted by him. And what, what did Gopal say to do? Get that chandan. And they, so then, oh, I wanted to say, so Mahaprabhu, he's telling this. Remember, he took sannyas. And his first stop on the way to Jag, he wanted to go to Vrindavan. Then he gets the inspiration. Even the sky said, go to Puri. You can go to Vrindavan later. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so he, oh, Krishna is in Jagannath Puri. Jagannath is Shamas under Krishna. Oh. You know, Kahan Krishna Prananath Murali Vadan Kahan Kanun Khan Pan Rajendra So, but he stops in Remuna and he's telling this story to Nityananda and the others, as heard from Iswar, his Gurudev, Iswara Puri. And then he says this, and then you'll see how all the tumblers fall into place and then everything becomes connected. So he's saying to Nityananda Prabhu, is there anyone more fortunate than Madhavendra Puri? And he's saying, and, and Kaviraj Goswami records there, he's saying, and from Madhavendra Puri, at the time of his passing from the world, he's saying, the supreme sloka of Rasa Kavya appeared like, like moon from his, from his lotus mouth, like moonshine, like it. The Kostuba money, the Kostuba gem of all Rasa Kavya, of all Rasa Slokas, came from him just before his leaving the world. And we're told, and where did this come from originally? From Sri Radhika herself, from Radharani. She expressed this. And what can only come from her heart came out of Madhavendra Puri at this time. And, and so uh, Radharani, Madhavendra Puri, and Kaviraj Goswami said, appreciated by, by Mahaprabhu and not a fourth person. Right. And what is that sloka? Ayi dina dayadranatahe matura natakadava lakshase hridayam tvadaloka kataram doinya brahmyati kim karomyaham. Doita, Brahmati, Kim Karomyaham. All we can say, in essence, it is expressing deep feelings of separation of Srimati Radharani. And saying, how, how can I go on living in separation from you? But Guru, they told, Guru Maharaj explained to him, and he told me before leaving, two words are key, Dean and Doya. That man, just like sometimes Gurudev would say, there's only two things we know for sure that we are fallen and that Krishna is merciful to the fallen. So, here, but from the heart of Radharani, Radharani, Sri Radhika, she's saying that how can she go on living and separation from Krishna? Kim Karomyam, what will I do now? And we heard of the Mathura Biraha of Advaita when he got Mahaprabhu at Advaita Bhavan. So, and what does he say there? Like the rubbing of the sound of wood that you just heard about, this sloka, through continuous consideration, just the way you rub that sound of wood more and more and more, and then its essence starts manifesting. So by continually considering what is expressed here, it will reveal itself to you in time. But Mahaprabhu, hearing this, would feign in a state of deep ecstasy. <clears throat> so his conclusion was that, to say to Nityana, is there anyone more fortunate than Madhavendra Puri? And the last thing we want to say is that, uh, so, and, so and, and it must be his disappearance day at this time 
this these few days before the appearance of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. It has to be like that. And just to conclude, so when Mahaprabhu is there and telling, sharing this tales of the glories of Madhavendra Puri with Nityananda and the others, the priest <coughs> brings the pots of tear to Mahaprabhu. I think seven gives, and Mahaprabhu keeps like five. And this is what we wanted to say, right? Uh, you could say, as Gopinath, he, he's Gopinath, he, the bog was offered him, he tasted that. Why is he so eager to taste this cure prasad of Gopinath? See, that only devotee can do that. Krishna does not take prasadam. We offer the bog, bog arati. We offer bog to Krishna. Krishna relishes that. It comes in connection with Krishna adharamritam, the nectar of the lips of Krishna. It's converted into prasadam, distributed to Radharani and, you know, by Dani, you hear in the song, right? And, and, and her friends. And it's coming down in the Guru Parampara in that way. So why now Mahaprabhu, he's so eager to taste what? Prasad. So who is enveloped? Radha Baba Subba, uh, Baba Duti Subalita, enveloped by the heart and halo of Radharani. He will now taste this Gopinath Prasad, like in the song, the way Radharani and her friends, the way they taste the, the Prasadam of Krishna. So how wonderful is the position of the devotee that Krishna himself wants to embrace the position of the devotee and not any devotee. Any devotee would be good. But the supreme devotee, um, Mahabhav, uh, Chantamani, Sri Radha Thakurani, from her position, that taste, only through her can he have that taste. That's why he's so eager to have that. Hare Krishna. Jai Madhavendra Puri Tirubhav Mahamahotsavatiti Ki Jai Mithai Go Primanande. Sing Hari Harai Nama Krishna. And Bhaktivinoda Thakur, one other thing we should say is, and you know, he has many prasadam songs. One talking about Nityananda Mahaprabhu eating shock at the house, you know. But another song is when, remember when Mahaprabhu is touring South India, he meets Rangapuri, who's a disciple of Madhavendra Puri. And Rangapuri tells him about the passing of Bishwarup, you know, Ganga Prapti, he's gone to Goloka, you know. And then by getting way to know, and where are you from, young Sripad? You know, I'm from Navadeep, you know. Oh, no, oh, I've been to Navadeep. Who, you know, oh, um, Jagannath Misra, Sachi Misra. Sachi I was with Madhavendra Puri, and we had prasad at the house of Sachi Misra, and she made this mocha ganta that was, you know, full of Krishna Prem, beyond conceivable, with Madhavendra Puri. We took that from Sachi Mata. That's one of Bhaktivinoda Thakur's songs. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yadavaya, Madavaya,
Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pa Sri Srila Satchidananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pa Vaishnava Sarvabhama Sri Srila Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai <coughs> Sri Rupa Nuga Guru Bhargava Ki Jai Nama Charja Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Bhavanita Ananda Sri Daitu Gadad Harshvasari Gaur Bhakti Vinda Ki Jai Sri Sri Radha Krishna Gop Gopinath Shamakunda Radha Kunda Giri Govadan Ki Jai Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai, Navadip Dham Ki Jai, uh, uh, Sri Godruma Deep Ki Jai, Madhu Deep Ki Jai, Sri Surabhi Kund Ki Jai, Sri Varnabhi Harmat Ki Jai, Sri Nasingapali Ki Jai, Sri Hari Hara Ketu Ki Jai, Sri Govinda Kunda Ki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai, Sri Gupta Govardhan Ki Jai, Sri Navadip Dham uh, Parikrama Ki Dai <coughs> Ganga Devi Tamuna Devi Bhakti Devi Tosi Devi Ki Dai Om Vishnu Pad Vishpa Varanya Sula Asi Bhakti Vedanta Shami Prabhupada Ki Dai Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Acharya Brinda Ki Dai Jai Sula Bhakti Nirmal Acharya Maharaj Ki Dai Jai Sula Bhakti Pavan Janardhan Maharaj Ki Dai Jai Sula Bhakti Kusum Ashram Maharaj Ki Dai Jai Sula Bhakti Vijay Trivikram Maharaj Ki Dai Jai Shri Bhakti Ranjan Madhusudan Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Shri Bhakti Bhimala Vadut Maharaj Ki Jai Seva Vrinda Ki Jai Soma Veda Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai Nithai Go Primanande <coughs> Jai Shri Bhakti Surya Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Nithai Go Primanande Hari Hari Bo Banchaka Upatru Bhistra Kripa Sindhu Bhya Eva Cha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnava Bhyo Namo Namaha Jai, so back to Yandan Mada Sudan Mars and Manendra Mohan Prabhu. Ki Jai. And, <laughs> and all the Vila go in the Bhakti Vrinda. Hare Krishna. <clears throat> Praneshri Didi Dandavat, Ananda Leela Dandavat, Ananda Rupa Dandavat. Jai, Nityananda Ram Prabhu in Colombia Dandavat. Whoops. Okay. Prajasundri Didi Dandavat. Uh, Dananjai and Chaitanya Moi. Dhanavat, they're in Rome, in Italy, Dhanavat. <laughs> Siberian Tom's Temple, there is Balabhanta Prabhu and Akadashi, and they're very beautiful deities. Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mahat in East London, or London Secretary Devashish Prabhu and Associates, Hare Krishna. 
Anandita and Jaya Shekhar Prabhu, Dandavat, Nityananda Das here. Who is here? I see it says Samantha Faircloth, Hare Krishna, Dandavat, Sri Hari Prabhu in Brazil, Dandavat, Suresh Krishna, perhaps in Riga, Dandavat, yes. Svananda Prabhu in London, Dand huh? And where is he? In Salt Lake. I always think Kishananda Prabhu is in Vrindavan. <laughs> <laughs> and Ram Sundar. The two of them were doing Dham Parikrama, I think. Divya Shakti Didi, Dandavat, Hare Krishna, Banavi Didi, Dandavat, she's in Rome, and the thing. Rupa Bilas Prabhu in the Philippines, Dandavat, Seva Rupa Devi Dasi, Dandavat, Michael Santiago Nervar, Dandavat, Saraswati of La and Lakta Dandavat, Malini Didi, and Orsk Dandavat, Lalita Priya Didi, Dandavat, Brajalatika, also in Orsk, or Orenburg, Dandavat, Hare Krishna, who did I know? Tapananandini Didi, Dandavat, hmm? Saraswati and Lakta, Dandavat. <laughs> there are three more pages, Mar. Three more screens. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna. Hare Krishna. No. Where's the operator? Operator, please. Krishna Kanta Didi, Dandavat. Shamala Didi, Dandavat. Abhinava Sundar and Kelly Kadamana, Dandavat. Rishikesh Maharaj and associates there in Abhazia, Dandavat. Goran Nataraj Prabhu, Dandavat. Sandeep Maheshri and Janvi Didi, Dandavat. Subhashini Didi, Dandavat. Amala Krishna Prabhu, Dandavat. Chaitanya Thai Prabhu, or Dandavat. He's in Vrindavan. Brajanath and Indulekha, Dandavat. Suchitra Didi, Dandavat. Ragaleka Didi, Dandavat. Hare Krishna. Madhurananda Prabhu, Dandavat. <laughs> Indumuki, Dandavat. Hare Krishna. And Ling, right? Hare Krishna, Dandavat, Ajita Krishna Prabhu, she is uh, Dandavat, Gokulatarani Didi, Dandavat, Anantashesh Prabhu in Spain, Dandavat, Seva Rupa Didi, Dandavat, Kanupriya, Dandavat, Nityananda Prabhu, we mentioned before, Dandavat, Abhiram Prabhu, Dandavat, uh, Madhavi Lata Didi, Dandavat, Odarjalila Didi, Dandavat, Nadia Priya, Dandavat, Yuvati, Dandavat, Hare Krishna. We were just talking about you today. Yes. And Sushmita, Didi, Dandavat, Hare Krishna. And with your sister friend, Hare Krishna. They're in China. Hare Krishna. All right. We're giving blessings to her too. All the Vaishnavas. There's hello. <laughs> Hare Krishna. <laughs> Tarun. That means what? Tarun Krishna? Yeah. And Janava, oh, Hare Krishna, the descendant. <laughs> There's Anjali, one of the Anjalis. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Prafula Krishna Prabhu, Dandavat, Lilavati, Dandavat, Jamuna here, Sulakshani here, Govinda Nandini, Dandav Nandini, Dandavat. Sri Laika, Dandavat, Krishna Mohini, Dandavat, Ravendra Krishna, Dandavat, Vinod, Kamala, Govinda, Hari, Chitraleka, Hari Krishna, <coughs> Shanti Moi, Dandavat, Damodar Prabhu, Dandavat, Raghunath Bhatta Goswami, we're talking, we give 2,000 obeisances every day to the Vaishnavas. Satyavama Dandavat. Hare Krishna. All right. Hare Krishna. I don't know. Shyama. Shyama Didi. Shyama Didi Dandavat. Aurora from Calcutta. Aha. Hare Krishna. Bhakti Bandidas. Yes. Tatiana. Tatiana. With a picture, it looks like Krishna playing uh, a flute. Yes. All right. 
So we offer our obeisances to the Vaishnavas as the uh, Vansha Kalpa Taru, Kalpa Taru, Vansha Kalpa Sri Vyascha, Kripa Sindhu, Vyavata, Patita Nam, Pavanebhyo, Vaishnavebhyo, Namo Namaha, Hare Krishna.